Hi friends, today we're going to be looking at a book called Round Buildings, Square Buildings, and Buildings That Wiggle Like Fish. So we're going to be making a model today, and I wanted to show you this book because there are some really interesting shapes that architects utilize when they're creating buildings. So we're just going to look through it. As you can see, it's a pretty thick book, so I'm not going to read most of the words. I'm just going to, we're going to look at the pictures. Let's get started. So we have buildings like the Taj Mahal in this book. And the Taj Mahal is very beautiful. They use a lot of cone shapes, cylinders, uh, towers to make up the building. We also have a building oops, like the Parthenon. The Parthenon uses a lot of squares and cylinders to hold up the building. And that building was in honor of Greek gods. It's a temple. The Taj Mahal is actually a funeral. Uh, it's a grave. This building is of a church. I can see squares and circles, cone shapes, and rectangles. As we skip through, here's the Brooklyn Bridge, which is not a building, but still we're using arches and rectangular shapes to create the shape. This building is what we call the flat iron building because it's shaped like an iron. It's a triangle with a round side. It's hard to see in the picture, but it's very narrow like this and then makes a triangular shape. Look at this rugged building made out of stones. Very pretty. Here's another church that is using arches and um, triangular shapes. So we have a portico here. A portico is what we call the triangle on the top of a building. Windows, you might want to include windows in here. Windows don't just have to be rectangular. They can be curved like these are with these arches over the windows. And then we can look at buildings like the United States Capitol. The United States Capitol, I see two porticos some rectangles, lots of columns, and then we have this nice dome in the middle of our state capital, or excuse me, our United States capital, our federal capital. Here's some beautiful arches. We can find these in buildings in Spain a lot of times. And here's another beautiful arch. This is what we call Islamic um, architecture. We can see all of the beautiful geometric shapes inside the building. Some buildings are very, this is the airport at JFK in New York. Look at these beautiful arches and curvy linear shapes that they're using. We could also think about combining different rectangular squares into different sizes to make an interesting building shape like this one is. Very cool. It's a tower with this cone shape and arches. This one's interesting, lots of triangular shapes, diagonal roofs. Here's a more traditional building. Even in traditional buildings, we'll see that artists or architects use lots of different shapes. So I see a triangle, I see a rectangle, and then the windows are made up of rectangles and then squares on the inside. There's more triangles here too. We can make a composite shape where we put a shape on top of another shape to make an unusual shape. Here's another one that utilizes a lot of those same shapes. Another beautiful wooden building. Triangles, squares and rectangles. You might want to think about the entrances to our buildings. They say the windows are pathways to the spirit of a building. So we can see here that the artists are using lots of different types of windows. Maybe we want most of our building to be made out of glass. Here's some more beautiful archways. Look at the ceiling here. It's just amazing how many ways artists can use shapes to make beautiful buildings. Doorways also add personality to the building. So this one has a nice porch with this curved window, curved archway, and a nice rectangle shape. And then they've broken the, the door into even more shapes. This as well, 
lots of shapes going on here. Shapes on top of shapes. This building is called the Parthenon. Inside you'll see that we have this curved shape, lots of diagonals, rectangles, curves, gorgeous. This is the cathedral uh, in Florence. This is the first dome that was ever constructed. Um, it's a very old building. It's probably over 600 years old. Uh, you can see they're using these panels and these arches to create support, circles, rectangles. Just beautiful. Here's the inside. So this book is just, oh, look at that. Look at the inside of that dome. Circles, rectangles, layers upon layers using different sizes of shapes to create an interesting viewpoint from the inside of the building. This is the inside of the Parthenon in Rome. You can see they added concentric squares and rectangles in here to make this texture. Very nice. We might want to think about things like porches, windows, archways, lots of different ways to combine shapes. I can't keep saying that enough. We're going to combine lots and lots of shapes to create an interesting model today. Look at this old building. This is a cathedral in Italy. Gorgeous. And this is in Florence, I'm sorry, Venice. Venice is a city that floats on water in Italy. It's built up on these piers. You can't really see them because they're underneath the building. But all of these buildings, beautiful shapes. Here's um, the square in Siena. Lots of shapes, lots of shapes inside of shapes. We could think about wind buildings like windmills. A cylinder with a cone on top, gorgeous. Skyscrapers. Lots of rectangles with smaller rectangles to make up our windows. Lots of lines to uh, support. Just gorgeous, just gorgeous, gorgeous buildings in this book. Here is a building in Nepal. This is a temple. You can see there's lots of rectangles, a circle shape, and then a triangular shape. And these are prayer flags. Here's an, a bigger picture of the Parthenon that I showed you earlier. This is a Greek, oh, an ancient Greek temple. Rectangles. They should have a portico, this triangle shape. And then columns to support the weight of the building. You'll see that lots of buildings, old and new, use columns in their construction. Look at this interesting shape here. So I hope that this book has given you some ideas of how we can combine different shapes to create interesting buildings. I can't wait to see what you do today. Let's move on to our next video and learn more about buildings and model making.